generally understand a word before they will say a word. So we need to encourage understanding vocabulary or what we call receptive vocabulary before we will see expressive vocabulary emerging. That's the words that they're actually saying. I'm Dr. Sandra McMahon, Director of Speech Pathology at SpeechNet Speech Pathology and Learning Centre. And I'd like to share with you today my top toy for toddler talk recommendation of the day. And it's Sandpit Toys. Did you know that early vocabulary is linked to higher IQs and also higher reading skills at the academic level? Vocabulary is even important for maths. No, you say, <laughs> maths is about numbers. Well, of course they're about numbers, but there's very specific vocabulary that will make or break whether your toddler can succeed in maths. It comes back down to language and understanding of words. Words like, let's add some sand. Let's take some out. We can then see that adding is like addition. Taking away is like subtraction. We have put together a free maths vocabulary download linked to this blog. Um, so it's really useful to print that out, pop it on the fridge, and it makes you think about all the maths vocabulary words that you can use as you're interacting with your little one. If you use the words a lot in everyday interactions and during play, they start to understand the words. And this is actually the foundation of not only language, but also maths learning too. But let's just have a look what I've done here. So sometimes we can't get to um, the beach. We can't always access a sand pit. But it's very simple to set this play up perhaps outside or even I often do it in a therapy clinic like here. What I do is I put down a plastic down sheet so it's really easy to clean up. And then you can use sweeping up as one of your action words at the end. I have a locked bucket full of sand and we can have a sand pit play any time of the year. So let's have a look at some of the actions we can do. Of course, we can do, let's put our dinosaur in here. We can hide in here. We're doing hiding, hiding the dinosaur. And then we might do some digging. We're doing digging. Let's do digging. And do you notice how I'm saying the word over and over again? Part of the conversation. The more repetition you use of the same word, the more likely the child is going to imitate or understand and or understand the word. So I'm going to do digging and then what am I going to do? I'm finding! I'm finding the dinosaur! I found it! I found the dinosaur! Let's hide! Let's do hiding! Hiding! And then we can repeat again. We do the digging and the finding. Really simple activity. We've just used three really good action words that we can do it over and over again with different dinosaurs or we can use different toys that we can hide really easy to do. Of course raking, raking the sand, we can do pushing, pushing, here we on the floor, we can pull it, push it over here, we're scraping the floor, scraping, we can even bring in some favourite toys like the dumper truck, we can do feeling, we're feeling the truck, Filling it up, we're feeling, filling up the truck. Wow, we're filling up the truck. And what can we do now? We can do dumping, dumping out. We're dumping out the truck sand. We can do shaking and shifting. That's fun. And then we can think about, oh, it looks like it's raining. Maybe it's going to be raining. Oh, it's raining on the dinosaur. It's raining. So now we're bringing in some imaginative play or symbolic play at the same time of our action words. Let's have a look what else we can do. We can do squeezing. Oh, we squeeze the sand. We can make a ball. 
we can put some sand and make a sand castle. We're patting, we're patting it down, patting, patting. Yep, and then what can we do? We can do some making. Let's make a sand castle. Making a sand castle, wow. We can do more, let's do more. We can do more sand castles, patting, patting, patting it down. Oh, we're patting. We're gonna make more, more sand castles. Oh, making a sand castle, wow. Now we've got one, two, two sand castles. And here we go, we can bring in some numbers. We can have different colours, buckets. We can do sorting. We can do sorting. We can have some things go in the blue bucket and some in the green bucket. We can have count how many blue buckets we've got. We've got one, two, three, four blue buckets. One, two, three, four buckets. And if we put the S on the end of buckets, we're working on grammar getting that plural marker as well. So much you can do with sand play. Um, we can also do stirring. We can pretend to be making something. We can put some things in our bowl. There we go. Let's put some things in our bowl here and we can get some water. We can do pouring. We're pouring. Oh, and then what have we got? We've got wet sand and dry sand. Our sand's all wet now. Oh, wet sand. It's all wet. And now we're working on some describing words. We've got dry sand and wet sand. We can do some cooking, as I said. So where's our spoon for our stirring? Oh, I've lost the spoon for stirring. Here it is. We can do stirring, stirring. Oh, what are we going to make? Make some pudding? Yum, we're stirring. Oh, mm, yummy, now we're eating. Mm. Should we share it with the dinosaur? Does this dinosaur want to do some eating? Mm, he's eating. What else could we do? Oh, the dinosaur might want to do some stomping. Stomping, stomping. Oh no, he broke our sandcastle down. Oh no, he's stomping. We can do it all again now, making and squeezing and patting, and we can start all over again. We could then even try and chop this in half, so we can talk about half as well. We've got, oh no, half our stand castle stayed standing and half fell down, oh no. So then we bring in more maths vocab here. Um, tallest and shortest. So again, measuring. Oh, let's measure. This one is, let's see, one dinosaur height, but this one's only half the dinosaur height. Do measuring. You have to use numbers. Just the concept of comparing and measuring is again the basis of maths. Even something like full and empty is a concept of math. So we're starting to look at the volume mathematics. So we can count endless these things. As I said, we can count um, the number of buckets, we can count the number of things hiding, we can count the number of sand castles we've made. Um, I could probably spend an hour talking about vocab words we can do, but let's just look at one more area and that would be position words. Again, also important for maths. Does this number come before or after? Is nine before or after 10? We can say, before we make a sand castle, we have to put the sand in. Or we can say, let's put this sand castle behind this sand castle. So in front, behind, we can do positions. We could try and put this sand castle on top. Will it stay? Oh no, it's not on top, it fell down. So we can do on top, next to, behind, in, in between. All those words are actually early maths words. I hope that's been useful for you to think about how even a basic game of sandpit making can have so much vocabulary. Remember, repetition. Pick one or two key words that you think you're gonna work with today. In, put it in, let's put it in. Um, 
It could be, um, you're just going to talk about digging today, digging, digging. So just use one or two words over and over again. Encourage them to say it. You don't have to force them to try and say it, but hopefully they will copy you. And if they do, lots of social praise for having a go. Now, even if the word doesn't come out clear, so if it's um, gigging for digging or digging, that's great. They're having a go at the word. And you just come back with, yes, you're digging and emphasize the sound. So you're encouraging clear speech as well. So, so much you can do with sound. Remember, if you have any concerns about whether the vocabulary your child is using if they're under three is okay for their age, take a look at our online first word counter. It's a screener to look at how many words your child is saying and is that okay for their particular age. Um, it's a good way to get started and looking at that vocabulary, which is I want to really point out today, vocabulary is key to later learning. Take a look at our parent online program. You can download it and use it immediately. It's called Focus on Toddler Talk. It'll take you through online checklists and information slides. They'll let you observe your, your child's speech levels as well as the level of speech that you are using. And this way you can match your input to exactly what your child needs. And this is how speech and language grows. Dr. Sandra McMahon, speech language pathologist that works with children to encourage speech language and literacy. Please take a look at our blogs, we've got heaps of information on there. Or ask us if you would like to um, have a question that you'd like us to talk about, always feel free to contact us through our Facebook page or our web and we're happy to help you out. Take care, bye.